I came here to go to the university. Came as an engineering student in 56. Uh, I was a good student for about a year and a half, and then some guy showed me a guitar and some folk music, and that was the beginning of one thing and the end of another. And uh, after, a, oh, I don't know, a year or so of playing, I met Dave Ray and Tony Glover, and then I kind of got into, you know, trying to follow what the old black blues, southern blues guys were. Guys were recording in the 20s and 30s and eventually set us into a recording career. John Hardy, the most desperate little man Carried on with him every day He killed a man on the West Virginia line Not had seen John Hardy get away it was a little bit of a surprise to me. Uh, part of it was just was the sensuousness of the music, and part of it was uh, there's some pretty good poetry in a lot of those songs, and that that interested me. Second time he shot her, well, she laid down and died. Dealer gone, one more round of dealer's gone. I eventually uh, decided I didn't want to try to be a black guy anymore and uh, switched over to playing just traditional folk music. Actually, I, I quit music forever, and that lasted about a year. But during that time, uh, I don't know, I, it was like a change of life. And uh, we had some folk music books around the house, and I started realizing that the quality of these songs was really top notch. 99 years in a prison, hey, Judge, that ain't no time. I got a brother in New Orleans doing 999. Delia's gone, one more round of Delia's gone. Now Tony's in the jailhouse, a drinking out of silver cup. The deal is in the graveyard, she won't get up. The deal is gone, one more round, the deal is gone. Jailer, hey, the jailer, how can I sleep? All around my bed at night, I can hear little dealer's feet. Deal is gone, one more round, the deal is gone. Deal is gone is traditional. I call it uh, one of the Frankie and Johnny syndrome songs. This is obviously an old theme. You can read about it in the newspapers every now and then. See, that's one of the interesting things about the traditional material. Uh, what you have is something uh, that's been worked over by the culture. So now you've got a, you know, material that pertains to the culture more than it does to any particular individual. And of course, these songs are still around because they're, they got some depth to them. Yeah, I've been called an icon and uh, a legend and like that, and it's, it's hard to know what, what they really mean by that, to tell you the truth. I think I understand it a little bit. You know, I've been around for a long time, and I've uh, treated the music with respect and uh, done it well enough so that uh, people appreciate it, and all that's okay with me. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. <laughs>